just heard y'all like Japanese internet mysteries, which is awesome because I got yet another one here for you all today. If you watched my Most Mysterious Song of Japan video, you may recall me mentioning a little thing called the Seven Mysteries of Nico Nico. Known in its native language as Nico Nico Nana Fushigi, the Seven Mysteries aren't actually seven, rather they're a whole lot more than seven. These many mysteries take place on Nico Nico Doga, a Japanese video streaming service that launched on December 12th of 2006. A currently 15-year-old platform that has as much history as YouTube, but also some distinguishable differences from YouTube. There are two specifically distinguishable traits that Nico Nico possesses that YouTube does not. The first of which being on-screen comments that just kind of glide across the screen while you're watching something. This can be annoying or amusing, depending on what you're watching. The other distinguishable difference is the requirement to sign up for Nico Nico to use the service, meaning you have to sign up for an account to even just watch videos. This is something that's been a lot looser in recent years, but in Nico Nico's early days, you would have had to make an account in Japanese with the Japanese form to make an account to watch anything on the site. It is also worth noting that despite the popularity of Nico Nico in its home country, YouTube is still more popular and more actively used. Many speculate that that's probably because of the sign up thing that Nico Nico forces upon you. There's also the fact that if you have a Gmail account, then you already have a YouTube account, making it much more streamlined and easier to access and, you know, engage with others on YouTube. Regardless of this though, Nico Nico has a lot of history and a lot of urban legends and trends surrounding it over the past 15 years. But before we get into the mysteries themselves, allow me to explain what the seven mysteries situation is as a whole. If you needed me to explain it in five words, I could just easily say the Japanese internet is weird. I mean, lost media in Japan is typically made to be a lot creepier than it likely is, or it only gains attention if it just so happens to be something that's kind of creepy. Nichon, the precursor to 4chan in the West, is actually known for having a lot of weird, creepy images that kind of spread and gain traction on that webpage which here's a few of them, they, they are in fact creepy. <laughs> the Nico Nico Nana Fushigi is among these examples as the mysteries themselves involve glitches and phenomena within the videos on Nico Nico that are unsettling and unexplained. This is something that has been observed on YouTube as well. There's actually a whole wiki article on it. So yeah, stuff like that. I guess you could also compare it to the 301 views glitch on YouTube back, back in my day, in the site's early days. Just a weird little thing that occurred on the webpage before it worked out its kinks. Only in Japan, this kind of stuff is more likely to fuel creepy urban legends and it's just generally seen as creepy. Videos that feature these strange occurrences have the tag Nico Nico Nana Fushigi. So the phenomena can take place on the video itself or within functions of that specific video. This includes issues with the comments and the seek bar. Remember I did say that comments go across the screen on Nico Nico. This is worth keeping in mind later on. And this kind of stuff may not seem initially too interesting or off-putting, and honestly it wasn't really to me either upon reading through the articles and looking through the tags. That is, until I realized that these observed occurrences are now all completely lost. The video glitches associated with the Nico Nico Nana Fushigi are now all lost media. I'll explain further in a bit, but for now let's look at the actual examples of what actually occurred on these videos. Might as well start with the most mysterious song of Japan, which is known in its home country as the song on the cassette tape I bought in Akihabara. If you haven't seen my video on the topic, think the most mysterious song on the internet, but Japanese and harder to identify. So basically, in the early 1990s, a dude found an unmarked cassette tape at a thrift store in Akihabara, which is the electronics district of Tokyo. This cassette tape had an unnamed song on it that they eventually uploaded online. The song creeps people out in Japan and it's gained notoriety in the country for being described as cursed or unsettling. This, to me, is kind of a good example of Japanese media being seen as creepier than it actually is in Japan, as a lot of people just say it's creepy because it's creepy, it's creepy because it's on a cassette tape, just stuff like that. Attempts to find the artist of the song have been made, but the song still remains unidentified. 
Oh, also, it's a bop. The song was originally uploaded to Nico Nico in 2007, but the original song uploaded was deleted. Before said deletion, the video was said to possess a weird seek bar glitch. The specific glitch associated with it is with the duration of the song not matching up to the seek bar, as in it does not progress correctly. And that's really it. <laughs> Okay, next up we have another seek bar glitch. It was supposedly seen in this video, which... Is that the angry German kid? Huh. The issue with this video was the seek bar going all the way to the right end of the video once the video duration reached the halfway point. Next one is... Do I have to censor this? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna censor it. I... I don't even know how to begin describing this one, but I can tell you that I did just send it to a ton of people out of context just now. If you're one of those lucky people, you're... You're welcome! <laughs> Next, we have comments accelerating. As I mentioned before, Nico Nico is known for having the comments scroll across the video screen as you watch the video. This video, a western rock hairband music compilation, had some kind of glitch that made the comments accelerate at an incredible rate. The comments were described as coming from both sides, as they usually go from right to left in the typical normal Nico Nico fashion. The playback time at the bottom of the screen was also observed as being inconsistent. This is not the case anymore, however. Another comment-related glitch is one where the comments just kind of stop showing up at all halfway through the video. In some cases, the video duration will show up as shorter than the actual upload length. These videos had this issue. There's also videos that see playback errors when paused too many times. Here's some examples of those. One last notable glitch is the seek bar rewinding on its own, which was observed on these videos. The time duration would get all wonky and display random numbers in the 7000s. And that is not all of them, this is only a few noteworthy examples that I happen to pick and choose for this video. So, why are there so many instances of this, and why are these issues so oddly specific and only seen on specific videos? One could just assume that Nico Nico was really buggy back then and leave it at that. Though, people on the Japanese internets at the time instead cataloged them and referred to them as mysteries to make the whole thing a little more spooky, scary skeletons. I don't know if it's just me, but these really aren't that creepy or noteworthy to me. While Nico Nico users see these as strange phenomena, I feel like most people would just see that there's a weird glitch, possibly look into why the glitch is occurring, and then just leave it at that. So, was this topic interesting enough to produce a video for? Well, in my opinion, yes, though not for the glitches themselves, but for the fact that these glitches and malfunctions are now kind of lost media. You may have noticed that none of the videos I just displayed had any of the visible glitches on them. They all ran normally aside from the subject matter just, you know, being kind of weird. This is because the site and video player have been revamped since then, and to my knowledge, nobody documented any of these things happening before this. So, they are now in kind of a weird spot between weird digital lost media and urban legends. And I say urban legend because most of these are just based on hearsay now on the Nikopedia. There's no actual filmed evidence of them occurring, but a lot of people did in fact witness it. I mean, the majority of these videos are 10 to 13 years old, and some people may not recall a time when these glitches actually occurred and therefore don't see them as anything beyond an urban legend. If there is some kind of documented evidence on the internet somewhere, please let me know also. I did my own search, I searched various web pages for this, but I have not found anything that actually shows the glitches, just listings of the videos that had the glitches. Now, surely, somebody must have recorded their screen to share some of these, or some kind of screenshot or still image at the very least. I mean, I have tried this and have yet to find anything. 
I've also searched Nico Nico Nana Fushigi in various keywords on both YouTube and Nico Nico, and I just get back two things videos about physical seven wonders in the real world, and an anime called High School Mystery Gaku and Nana Fushigi. That's really it. I even double-checked these video results despite the results not actually having anything to do with Nico Nico 7 Mysteries, you know, just in case they briefly talked about digital mysteries or showed an old clip of them. But alas. None of these titles have anything to do with the Nico Nico Nana Fushigi, unfortunately. But what about the Wayback Machine? Well, you remember that pesky little login issue I mentioned earlier? If you look up these videos by their URL, you're prompted with that login screen and not the video. I've tried various approaches with this, including making my own Nico Nico account to try and log in, but the issue here is that the login URLs from this time period were not preserved as well, making the video unaccessible. Even if they were preserved, I'm not sure if that would have helped much. I attempted the same process with multiple videos under the Nana Fushigi tag and on various dates that were archived, though to no avail. One theory I had was the possibility of needing an account that existed at the same time as the archived site. I can't really test this theory as it would require me to have made an account between 2006 and 2009 and I'm afraid I can't go back in time and let awkward baby middle school me know the importance of this task. If only I could though. If only I could. If anyone is able to get one of these old videos working with the original glitch attached, then please let me know, that would be awesome. With these URLs being archived on the Wayback Machine, I feel like there was an attempt made to preserve these videos that just eventually didn't work out. This is something that just didn't gain a lot of traction and was overlooked and not really thought about until it was too late. At least, that's my opinion right now. I could be proved wrong at some point and I would love that. With a lot of lost media, there is at least hope that the lost medium is stored away somewhere by the creator. Because these came about due to a web page glitch, all that is left of the actual occurrence is the descriptions of them. The lack of documentation makes for a mystery in itself. And there's also the question of if this even counts as lost media. Well, comments and a web page interface, at least to me, does count as a form of media. Media isn't directly defined as something created for entertainment or something you directly consume. People were still entertained by these glitches and errors in comments and likely sought out the videos just to witness them. It's an alternate version of this video and I think it counts. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. This topic is kind of odd and random, and I actually was going to pair it with another Nico Nico mystery that's way creepier, but I ultimately decided to split them up into two videos. So, with that said, look out for another video like this soon. Only much creepier. I've... I've been really sick, and I feel like trash right now. I don't know if that's noticeable in my voice at all, but I'm really trying to pull it together to get one more video out by the end of this year. Um, so hopefully you guys like this video, despite my sick stuff going on. <coughs> God damn it. My channel has seen a lot of growth over 2021, and I'm incredibly grateful to be able to do something I enjoy and also have people enjoy what I create. My channel was created way back in 2015, though in the early days I had a lot of problems with my health that really prevented me from making the kind of content that I truly wanted to make. I, I struggled a lot back then. I've also met a lot of great people over this year through my content. The Lost Media community itself is wonderful and I'm thankful to say that I'm a part of it. Really, you guys are awesome. I'm really looking forward to 2022 and I really hope you all look forward to the content I plan to release in that year. With all of that said, please stay safe, have a wonderful holiday new year, and thank you so much for stopping by. I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys!